Hi all, in this video I am going to show you how to install GNS3 in Windows PC. For this you just need a GNS3 application which you have to download from the GNS3 website. The links are given in the description. I have already downloaded it. GNS3 2.0.3 version. Just open it. Click on S. It will run it. Click on Next. Agree. Next. What all the application you just needed, just select it. Next. Install. I have already installed a Win. PCAP 4.1.3 so that's why it's showing an error so I just note it I just click as cancel no I just don't need a Wireshark right now so clicking it cancel I don't need solar winds right now cancel then it will start installing a GNS3 in the PC it may take a couple of minutes Once the installation is done, we can further proceeding for the configuration of GNS3. And then we just need to integrate our iOS routers with the GNS3 so that we can use the consent routers. For some users or for some OS, it will not be also be supported 2.0.3. Uh, especially for XP and uh, Windows 1 if Service Pack 1 is not been updated, I think it will not be workable. Okay. For those uh, cases, you can use a 1.3 version, which is also available in the Genius website right now. You can just download it. Go next. Next. Start Genius 3. Yeah. Now here comes a setup wizard. It has been showing as run modern iOS, ASA and other applications from non Cisco manufacturers. It requires run only legacy iOS on my computers. It is for remote services for advanced usage. I just go on with the default one that is a run modern iOS which supports both Cisco and non Cisco. Then click on next. Here be sure you just select this one or else you will end up, end up with some sort of error and you just once again need to reconfigure this. It will some sort of pop up menu will arise frequently. Okay, then just click on next. It is connecting to the consent port number 127.0.0.1. Yeah, connection to the local server is successful. Click on next. Yeah, it is showing error because I didn't install any of the VMware in my PC, so that's the thing. It's not an issue. Click on next. It's also asking to configure virtual box or something. I don't install right now. Cancel. You just need to create a project and I was two things. First, click on this. There are no routers configured. It has been showing us no routers have been configured. Click OK. In order to uh, synchronize routers, click on Edit Preferences. I was routers. New. If you having any existing image or new image model, you can just choose it. New image. Click on browse, select, open, show the path, next, next, next. Next, next, finish. And that's it. This is the configuration of iOS routers. Click on apply and OK. Then you need to create a project or else it will not open in 2.0.3. Just click it, new blank project. I'm choosing as example. See, so yeah, it's an example. Project name is example. Yeah, here is the iOS router which I have synchronized. Select it. And again, select it. Here. Okay. Fast is zero slash zero. Zero slash zero. If suppose some of the routers don't have a uh, interface by default in GS3 or some if you need any additional interface just right click configure slots and these are the interfaces that has been for this router which is nothing but nm40 is serial interface the four mentioned here is it has four interfaces we can use four serial interfaces which is nothing but this one one FETX, which is nothing but one fast ethernet interface 16 ethernet interface i'm going to choose a serial interface click on apply and then ok 
if I need to configure a serial interface in both routers we just need serial interface connection in order to connect it apply and then ok if you serial interface 1 slash 0 serial interface 1 slash 0 ok in order to run the OS run the router you just want to click on start button here it will start it if you need which interface to be connected with which end you can just select the interface also just click on view show on head interface label it will show the which all the interface that is being connected in order to configure a router you just want to right click click on console it will boot and then you can just configure it that's it thanks for watching until next time